Broadway shows are back at the Washington Pavilion. The Sioux Falls venue kicks off its 25th Pavilion performance series tomorrow night. In tonight's Eye on Keveland, Kelly Volk looks at how the entertainment lineups have grown over the years and what the productions mean for the city. The Washington Pavilion opened in 1999. The former Washington High School was transformed into an entertainment venue in the heart of the city. The first performance series at the Pavilion included the Broadway musical Cats. Her coat is of the tabby kind. Of course, starting out with Cats was a big deal. Kim Bartling is a former longtime board member at the Pavilion and remembers the early days of Broadway productions at the Pavilion. I think at first we were just excited to get anything, you know what I mean? Because you, yes, you put a bid in, but also they have to pick you. You know, they have to decide how many, you know, days they're going to run and how much, you know, it costs to bring them in and can you sell that many tickets and so on. Today, the pavilion is getting ready to kick off its 25th performance series featuring six Broadway shows. Beetlejuice, Aladdin, Disney shows. And the classic story of To Kill a Mockingbird. These were merely pipe dreams 25 years ago that we would ever have a Disney production on this stage and do full week Broadway productions. Beetlejuice opens this Tuesday night and runs for a full week. Aladdin will also be in town for a week. We've never had two full week Broadway productions um, ever and we're having two now in this season and two within what three months of each other. The pavilion has also seen growing subscriber numbers over the quarter century. President and CEO Darren Smith says in the early years about 500 people were season ticket holders. This year, the pavilion expects to close out the season with close to 4,000 subscribers. That's not necessarily the trend in every theater across the country. We're, uh, we're really an anomaly here in Sioux Falls, and I think it speaks volumes about the community and the people here and those interest levels. The impact of the performance series spills well beyond this historic landmark. Terry Schmidt is the CEO of Experience Sioux Falls. It really has heightened the cultural capabilities of people looking for things to do. I mean, these are big shows and people come in from all around uh, to go to those. Plus, as community members, this is quality of life. And so there's excitement about it from people who live here. Of course, Bartling will be in this theater to catch some shows this season, including Beetlejuice and To Kill a Mockingbird. When she reflects on the success over the years, She's not surprised at all. It's the power of community, and it's not just Sioux Falls. It's, it's the power of all of the, you know, southwest Minnesota, northwest Iowa, southeast. You know, I mean, it, people come from all over to see things there. And soon the curtain will open on another year of bringing Broadway entertainment to Kelloland. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Kelly Volk. Beetlejuice opens tomorrow night. To see the full season lineup, just head to this story on Kevaland.com.